Okay, next assumption, please. Uh, we are dealing with measurement error today. And again, we're going to be using a causal diagram before I've gone about and explained the true effect or, or, or what a causal diagram is. So please do bear with me. So let's assume we are interested, as always, in a treatment, so some treatment A, effect on a given outcome. So their effect on a given outcome. Uh, so this could be a heart transplant on your five-day survival. However, uh, for some reason, we're not necessarily getting the correct measurements for everything. So if this were a heart transplant, perhaps, um, instead we could do something like uh, IV drip, right? And, and we don't necessarily have a perfect measurement on what the IV drip, because sometimes the bag deflates, sometimes we lose a little bit. So instead of being able to measure the true value, the true treatment value A, we're only ever able to measure a treatment value A star. And maybe instead of being able to measure someone's cholesterol uh, exactly or, or something like that, we're only able to measure uh, something that is a proxy for cholesterol. So we do some sort of test, some diagnostic test. Okay. So what we're able to measure is A star and Y star. However, as you noticed, the interesting effect, the effect that we are truly interested in, is the effect from A, the true amount of IV they're given, the true amount of medication they're given, something like that, on the true amount of cholesterol reduction they are actually receiving. So what do we do in this case? There are a couple of tools that we will get to much later on in sort of advanced causal inference, but my one piece of advice for measurement error at the moment is measure better. Uh, so if you just go ahead and you measure better, especially if you're designing an experiment, uh, make sure that you are not going to have any measurement error in this experiment because this will really, really harm your findings later on. And a lot of people, regardless of what sort of techniques that you use to deal with measurement error later on, will go ahead and they'll have qualms with those techniques. So the, the best treatment for measurement error is measure better. So generally speaking, we're going to assume that there's no measurement error, at least for the beginning of the class.